Hey everyone, we're dipping back into the Kinder Stash today because I felt like using their Sunday Pot Roast Seasoning Packet. Easy instructions are on the back and we'll modify as we go. I've tried this recipe with other cuts of beef, but I always end up wishing I'd stuck with my go-to chuck roast. Chuck has the perfect level of fattiness, which makes for great flavor and tenderness. I took this out of the fridge two hours ago to let it get closer to room temperature. We'll also need potatoes and root veggies, any combination of your choice. I have two pounds of these smallish potatoes. They're about two inches, a nice size, and keeping the skin on will help them keep their shape. I also have about two pounds of root veggies that I washed and peeled. Parsnips, carrots, and rutabaga are my usuals, and of course, a large onion. I'll go chop these up, and then we'll get started with the recipe. Season the meat with a little salt and black pepper. I'm using a little less than usual because the Kinder's packet already has a lot of salt, and we can always add more later if we need to. My six quart pot is preheated on the highest saute setting, so the butter and olive oil can go in. And now the meat goes in to brown on each side. This is my favorite part to watch back in editing. It's just so fascinating to watch the meat transform as I speed through it. In real time, I gave each side seven minutes to get this dark, crispy crust to form. Now we have to loosen up all of this delicious fawn from the bottom of the pot. I'm using red wine here because it's delicious and the alcohol works with the fats and tomato paste to bring more flavor. But if you need to avoid alcohol altogether, use some chicken broth or beef broth, or even just plain water. Just make sure to scrape up all of this goodness from the bottom of the pot. Add in a tablespoon of tomato paste and the Kinder's packet. And stir everything up to dissolve. Set the meat back down into the pot, along with any juice from the holding tray. And now we can pile up the veggies. I put the potatoes on the bottom and the peeled veggies higher up. Also note that these veggies are gonna release a lot of liquid as they cook, and those sweet flavors are gonna mingle nicely with the wine and seasonings at the bottom. And all of that's gonna to come together later to make an awesome gravy. This will cook for 60 minutes on high, and then we'll let it do a full natural release, at least 20 minutes or so. Veggies and meat come out now so we can work on the gravy. And don't mind if I sneak a taste, it smells really good in here. Which might be why I made a rookie mistake and forgot to hit record during the gravy thickening step. But I've done it so many times on this channel that I don't feel too too bad about subbing in some previous footage. This is from a test run of this recipe about a month ago. The thickening step is pretty much the same across all my IP videos involving gravy. Bring the liquid back to a bubble on saute mode, thickening agent of your choice, flour or cornstarch, and a little water to make a slurry, constantly whisking until the gravy is as thick as you like. Add more slurry if you want it thicker, or add broth or water if you've gone too far and need to thin it back out. Always do a taste test to see if you need to add anything. This one was just right today. Now it's just Steve and myself here, so this counts as food prep for us. Dinner tonight with some green beans that I cooked in the air fryer, and then leftovers for lunches all week. Some days as is, one day as roast beast sandwiches, one day veggies and rice curry. On the weekend, we made a potato and beef hash with eggs for breakfast, and finished the rest of it for dinner as a beef and potato tostada with fresh guacamole. Plenty of options. I wish I'd taken pictures of it to show you. I'm really slacking off in this video, huh? Anyway, that's all there is to making a delicious and tender pot roast in the Instant Pot using the Kinder's Seasoning Packet. As always, ingredients and instructions are below in the description box, including the quick air fryer green beans. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment if you try these Kinder's packets. And let me know if there are any other Kinder's recipes you'd like to see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!